Hey adventurers, Bruno here. Today we're gonna be unboxing something that just came in the mail. It's a equipment that we bought last week. So it's inside this box. We kind of opened it already because we had to make sure everything was all right. For those of you who don't know, I'm William Son. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm his son. So now we're gonna be opening all of these guys that we bought, I'm gonna take everything out of the box and I'm gonna to explain to you guys what it is. So this is pretty much it. We have a lot of stuff here as you can see. Let's start with a gimbal. This is brand new. Uh, it's called Xeon uh, Smooth 4. I think that's how I call it, Xeon Smooth 4. This is a gimbal for smartphones and I need a knife. manual instructions so let's go for the box it's got a pretty nice box it's got a nice color pretty hard pretty solid let's open up and here we go we have the black one here we have the USB C charger this is for charging and for firmware updates. It's a very important cable. Of course, we have the gimbal. There it is. Wow, it's got lots of buttons on it. As for the buttons, we have um, a bunch of them, as you can see right here. We have the turn on and off button right here. If you see this little blue line over there, it's where it shows you how much battery there is left. So we have the power up and power down button. We have this button that you can pr press to, you know, record videos. It's all connected to your cell phone, by the way. You're gonna have to download the ZY Play from the App Store, and it's gonna connect to this, and you can do all the cool stuff, which is zooming in and focus and everything on this scroll here and you know pressing here to record videos here to take pictures so this button here disp turns on and off the display settings of your camera then we have this wheel on the center it, you know it's for many functions and it also has buttons up down left and right for example if you press up it brings you many video resolutions and frame rate options if you press it right you're gonna get exposure compensation. And then you can rotate the wheel clockwise or counterclockwise to change the exposure compensation settings. If you press down, it brings up all your media, all your pictures, all your videos, so you can you know, check if they're good, if you have to do it again. And if you press left, it toggles between selfie mode and normal mode. And this button here with the little bolt in the middle, if you press it for a little long, it turns on your LED light, your flashlight on your phone. And we also have, of course, this target button here. And if you press it, let's say you press it once, you can adjust the zoom. If you press it again, you adjust the focus. And over here on this little switch, we can toggle between pin follow and locking mode. Oh, and by the way, the battery on this, can go up to 12 hours of use. It's pretty awesome. On the back side, we have this up and down button here. So if you press this up, it turns on something called phone go mode. And on the bottom, it puts us on the full follow mode. So guys, this is the basic controls and functionality of this gimbal, which is pretty basic as you can see. Now, we also have something else that they give us, which is a tripod that comes with it. Plug it in right here, screw it, and I'll just put it on a surface so you can do various videos and pictures. So here we have the app and you know it's just gonna go through these screens and click on go. Now it says connect now so we're gonna put it here on the gimbal. So here we have it. I mean, we're, gonna, we're gonna turn this on and wait a little bit so we just stabilized i'm gonna connect now so we're gonna take it off uh, lock mode which is right here and it's gonna 
you know, he already did. He already did his job. It's stabilized. So now I'm gonna show you guys the three by three picture, how it works. So here you can see that this image only gets the sofa, a little bit of the floor, the guitar, a little bit of this wall, and half of the wall behind the sofa. And what we're gonna do now is take a picture of the whole view that you can see on, you know, let's see your eye and put it in a photo. So this is how it works. In order to take the picture, you just have to click on this button right here, the camera button, and it's gonna perform. So here's the full photo. We're gonna just save it here. Little icon here, you can barely see. All right, so there we have it. A full view of the entire room in one photo, which makes it perfect. If you wanna, you know, stand right there and take a picture of your whole room or your whole dining room, just like this one that we took. That's my father here. Look how nice it looks. So, as you guys saw, this gimbal has many features, and I only showed you one of them. Right now, we're gonna unbox the, the rest of the stuff I have here. We have a ring clamp. So this ring clamp comes in this little cardboard box. It's pretty simple, as you can see right here. We're gonna attach it to this side of the camera right here. <clears throat> so that's the ring clamp we have. And we bought these batteries. This is just for, you know, recharging the flashlights that we bought. I'm gonna show you guys now the LED lights that we bought to attach on, you know, the ring clamp. So it comes in this little box. There's a video user guide in here. It's just a manual. And there's the other one, same thing. You can turn it on just by rolling this to the side. So if you wanna put it as a low light, you can just turn it a little bit. This is a very low light. And if you want it high, you can just keep going and it's gonna become brighter as you guys can see. And now we're gonna go for the microphone which comes in this little white box right here. Here it is. The microphone comes in here. So that's the microphone. All right, so that's how it looks. On the ring clamp, we're gonna put the lights, the LED lights. All right, so this is how it looks like. You have your setup complete. It's completed. That's how it's supposed to look. All right, and last but not least, we have the case. So, on the inside, we have this hanger. I don't know how to call this, to be honest. And of course, the case. Put it right in here, like this. It's gonna look something like that. And then you just close it, put the hanger around it, and carry with yourself wherever you want to go. And that's about it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like this video and remember to subscribe. Always stay tuned for the next video. Have a good night, a good day, a good afternoon. And then there's Chanel here. Yeah, what are you doing here? <laughs> bye bye, guys. Thank you very much for watching.